soup. Would you call this like a soup? Clam chowder soup. Do I say soup one more time? Soup. Greetings and welcome back to another reaction video. And in today's video, I'm going to be kind of cooking, not that, it's not really cooking as such, but I'm going to be making New England clam chowder with these soup and oyster crackers. Returning viewers will know that I'm not great with fish. So if I don't like this, I don't mean any disrespect to any of our fellow New Englanders or anyone that likes clam chowder. Anywho, I'd like to thank Pete from Massachusetts for sending this across to me. I'm sorry it's taken a bit of time. I've got such a backlog of videos to do, but we are going to do it now. Cue the cheesy music Tarquin. Cooking with Paige, cooking with Paige, let's go. Cooking with Paige, cooking with Paige. Cooking with Paige, cooking with Paige, cooking with Paige. Okay, so I've never ever had this Progresso New England clam chowder, so I'm presuming it's a bit like a soup as such. Now, I've also been given these premium soup and oyster crackers. Some people said to me, you need to crunch them up and pour them in, and other people said just drop them in. So I'm gonna do an amalgamation of both. I'm gonna cook it up, I'm gonna eat it and try it, and hopefully I like it. I'm gonna shut up, let's get on with it. Right, let's get this uh, chap opened. Okay, I'm not getting a massive sense of fish smell, which is a good sign. Need to get these ready for recycling. Do you guys recycle? We have to recycle all our glass, plastic and tins. So I'm gonna wash this up and get this recycled. Right, okay, now I don't know if you put any salt or pepper in this. I'm just gonna cook it as it is. Warm this up. But again, yeah, I've never, ever, ever had clam chowder. If I'm being honest, I've never heard of it. So, I'm quite, it's quite good because it's not it's like stinking of fish. Because uh, again, I don't really like fish that much. Oh, bugger. <laughs> oh, it didn't take long, did it? Oh, yeah. I'm making a mess. I have to clean this all up before Mrs. H gets back. I'm just going to give this five minutes to warm up. I'll be back. Right, I think it's pretty much ready now. Oh. Okay, right, I'm gonna put some of these oyster crackers in. Again, some people said just put some in, so I can just like place them in. But also some people said you need to crush them up as well. So if I crush some up as well, so a bit of both. That might be too much, it might not be enough. Maybe I need to stir it up, I don't actually know, but we're gonna go over to the table and try it. Right, I'm gonna be trying this now. I can smell the crackers, they smell quite nice actually. To start off with, I couldn't really smell too much fish, but I can smell a bit of fish now. Again, if I don't like this, I don't mean any disrespect. But here goes, clam chowder, first time, British guy, New England favorite, here we go. Yeah, um, there's some of, it I, some of it I quite like, but I keep getting that twang of fish, and again, yeah, I'm not great with fish. I'll try some more. I think, because I've got like the fish in my head, I'm like, ah, don't like fish, but, I reckon if I had more or more of it, I'd probably end up liking it. At the moment, I'm not like a massive fan, if I'm being completely honest. But again, I've not been brought up having fish all the time, so I'm sure if I did, I'd really like this. But at the moment, I keep getting that little thing that is fish in my head, and I'm like, oh. Certainly not repulsive, certainly not disgusting or anything like that. Probably wouldn't be my go-to. Am I right saying soup? Would you call this like a soup? Clam chowder soup. Do I say soup one more time? Soup. But it's all right. I think if I get the fish out of my head, it probably would be an okay dish. But again, that's my issue, that's my problem with fish. I don't know where it stems from. My grandparents loved fish, they ate fish all the time, and yeah, not me, unfortunately. So yeah, if I'm being honest, I'd probably give this a... It's not repulsive, so it's not gonna be like a, a one or zero, but 
but I'd probably give us a four out of 10. Pete, I'd please, and everyone from Massachusetts and New England, I mean no, no disrespect. It's just more me and my taste buds. If I got my head around the fish, I don't like have it and it's like, oh my God, it's really fishy. It's not really fishy, but I've just got that sort of thing in my head. It's like fish, I'm like, ah. Um, but yeah, it's a shame really, because this is probably one of the most healthiest stuff I've been sent since I've been getting parcels. And I'm like, eh. But anyway, Pete from Massachusetts, thank you so much. Do you like clam chowder? Let me know in the comments below. Much love to everyone across the pond. Love you all very much. And if you would like to support the channel, we do have a merch shop. If you'd like to appear on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the YouTube community tab, take a photo of yourself wearing the merch and I'll plaster it up on all my social media platforms. We do also have a join a member section. Check out the link in the pinned comments for all the fun pack perks. And all that leaves me to say is take care. God bless. See y'all in the next video.